All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Bobby here at Smirking Gun Reviews. Back to talk more comics, and right now what we're going to be talking about is DC's kind of one-off. It actually might be, it looks like possibly two issues, uh, depending, but right now we're considering it a one-off, and that's the dc sending a one-shot off of uh, the deceased uh, book series that's been going on, basically DC Zombies, uh, that's actually really damn fun to read. And while I've never been, uh, I, again, I've, I'm recently back to comics in the last like three, four years, uh, but DC sending, and I love these alternate covers, there's, there's other covers, like a standard cover, then there's like a full face zombie face of a, uh, of a hero or villain with a zombie face like I think Deathstroke is the one for this book but uh, they also have like ones that are based on horror movies posters so like the first one was uh, It the newest one the second one was uh, Nightmare on Elm Street uh, the third one was ooh, Final Destination um, right now though this is basically doing oh but then there was uh, The Nun I, they're doing like a lot of modern ones, which is kind of weird. I thought they'd go further back. So it's like, yeah, uh, It, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Nun, and Final Destination. And then this one is based on The Conjuring, where you have Batman's uh, cowl hanging from a tree. And it says, it's, instead of the um, the people it's based on in The Conjuring, it's based on the cure case files of the Waynes. <laughs> and in this book, it's talking about the people that are actually trying to find a cure, which are the new gods, I believe is what they're called, uh, from Apocalypse. You got Mr. Miracle and Barda, and their whole planet and Apocalypse is gone. It's all destroyed. And Mr. Miracle and her come to Earth where Mr. Terrific is. Uh, these fucking names. And they are actually trying to figure out how to stop what happened. They know about the anti-life equation, killing all these people. Their whole place is done. They don't really know what's happened to everyone else. And this is another fine example of this guy's writing. I really dig this book because it gives us a bunch of people that are kind of on the sidelines of this and also trying to help, also dying horribly. Um, <clears throat> we get like find out that uh, you know Captain, you know the boomerang guy, he got turned and he's being worked on, trying studied by Mister Terrific. And like his whole mask saved him. And Barda and Mr. Miracle, they've come to Earth and they're trying to uh, also figure out things. They all end up kind of like meeting up together, but they also, the weird part here is, and this is like the second book series, you know, kind of an event series that has to do with Booster Gold. At least in this one shot it does. Um, he was like a big part of Heroes in Crisis, which I personally didn't really like that much. I know I had a interesting message but in the end I was just kind of like oh all right um, but in this again Booster Gold has a time machine and they kind of in the end want him to go back in time and figure things out but of course that's when everything like hits the fan there's all sorts of blood and guts and gore happening all over this book <laughs> still but Booster Gold like he's one of those characters that I never really quite got into because of what he is like you know he's kind of like a reality show star you know um, but it's up to him and Blue Beetle to get to where they need to go to where the time machine is and in the meantime we also get brought in to John Constantine enters the fray so we're getting people that deal with magic all of a sudden in this and John Constantine he they're they're searching for him and he's ending up like having to kill his like friend who uh, he's turned and you know, John Constantine I love just how he handles it like any other thing where <laughs> this guy really shouldn't be alive but he's got a lot of protection protection from on high people that actually you know he he defies fate he defies these powers he fucking he's basically like fuck superheroes and all the crap that you guys cause and meanwhile they actually get to uh where they need to go and find a whole bunch of turned superheroes basically ready to take them on and like i mean it's just all sorts of crazy and bloody all sorts of stuff happening in this and they get to where they basically know they're going to die that they're they're fighting off they're trying to make sure that booster gold can get to his time machine before 
uh, every anything else happens so that whatever happens it's worth it we can stop this from happening but when they get there they are met by a guy called the wave rider who I I remember very um, very little of but I know that he's very powerful he's like a time lord and previously they asked for Constantine's help and he's like bugger off you know I don't want anything to do with all this well the wave rider guy is basically getting in their way from going back in time and fixing things he doesn't want things to change somehow and Constantine he comes back and basically puts the smack down on this Time Lord guy which does track for the DC's Legends of Tomorrow show how he feels about Time Lords but as they're about to get everything done one of the people the uh, Barda comes crashing through she's turned and she's going after everybody and Mr. Terrific goes down he gets sliced up and we all we assume Mr. Miracle he's dead too and Booster gets ready to go back in time, but all of a sudden it's all over. It doesn't matter. Something happened that completely erases Booster Gold from existence. So he was never even born. So he can't go back there and he can't change anything. So <laughs> it's just as like kind of maddening like watching people try to fix the, the situation from a different level because things are still just not going the way that the heroes want but Constantine he realizing that he screwed everybody screwed and it's because this wave rider guy won't let him uh, do what he needs to do Constantine puts a spell on them both so that they can't leave and so that if they're gonna die if everybody's gonna die and if wave riders just gonna let it happen and you know protect whatever he feels like is the important you know more important linear timeline he gets like stabbed up by Blue Beetle who's turned and right at the end all of a sudden you get Zatanna and Dr. Fate show up <laughs> which Constantine proceeds to punch Dr. Fate because he's saying that it's not your time another fate awaits you and he's like you wanker all these people you know basically died and so now they have to uh, it says, the world is ending, John Constantine. We must prepare for what comes next. The Lords of Chaos and Order. And John Constantine says, can eat a giant bag of bollocks. The world isn't over until I say it is. It says, to be continued, question mark. So, whether or not this is like just a one shot or if they'll come back to this later, I don't know. But it's a great tie-in piece. Most Normally, books like this kind of or don't really mean anything at least in the Marvel side of things like all those War of the Realms tie-ins or probably a bunch of these absolute carnage things all these books that you don't really need to read thankfully this is just a one-time deal maybe but it just adds a, another layer to the storyline that's running concurrently with the rest of the DC book line which I, I highly re recommend picking up if you weren't sure about what this would be like if it would just be another you know like kind of sideways you know running concurrently things not really mattering things matter in this story <laughs> So I highly recommend picking it up if you're already reading Deceased. And if you're not reading Deceased, you should definitely be reading Deceased. So anyway, if you like this review, please hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Otherwise, this is Rob. We're going to be back with more comics talk in a little while. And so uh, get ready to look forward to that. And we'll see you next time. Bye.